guys, SCS here. We're back with another Fast Five. Today, we're gonna to be covering Hummus Exchange on Metis. I'm bullish on Hummus as a project. We're gonna be diving into the top five catalysts today. Let's go ahead and dive right in. Number one is Metis is going to be launching a optimistic rollup and a ZK rollup combined for their chain. So they're gonna be making some changes. They just announced this at ETH Denver, but it's, it's something that I think is gonna pull in a lot more eyes to the chain from a technological perspective. But it's also gonna make it so Metis is gonna be uh, staking architecture. So you're gonna have LSDs and it should pick up volumes on chain. So um, something that is extremely bullish in my opinion. On top of that, Metis being its own gas token and uh, having its own chain is really one of the only L2s that's built that way. So when people are looking at, hey, um, they're maybe a little bit more hesitant with this Shanghai upgrade and all of the ETH unlocks that could be happening in the coming months. Uh, Metis isn't as really affected by those because it has its own token. So um, could be a safe haven with uh, some of those unlockings coming up. Another big announcement from Metis itself is Layer Zero Labs. They're officially live. This happened at the beginning of December, but I think it was largely overlooked. Layer Zero being a big omni-chain protocol really helps benefit TVLs of protocols and chains um, by being able to pull stable coins and other large tokens on and off chains a lot more easily. Um, so this should help, especially when you're talking about Hummus, which is a stable swap, being able to really grow the TVL on Metis. One of the things that makes me most bullish on Hummus is the fact that they proposed that they're gonna be doing a friendly fork of Balancer. So this was extremely interesting to me. I don't think many people really took the time to read through this governance proposal. I think one of the things that has become a meme is Aave V3 launching on Metis. Um, it's been something that's been talked about for over a year, but I think we're a lot closer than most people realize. And part of that is um, when reading through the friendly fork proposals as well as some of the Aave governance is you'll find out that one of the only hesitations really is liquidations. It's something where Aave uh, doesn't want to open themselves up to being front run, so they need somewhere for their liquidations to happen. So not only will they have all the stable swaps that they already have today, but assuming that all of this governance passes, this was from February 10th, um, that means that Hummus could end up being the top exchange on all of Metis, including native, non-native, and stable tokens. So extremely bullish. I really do think that this could be a massive catalyst for Hummus um, and could lead to them being the top decks on all of Metis. With that, Aave V3 being teased, it's come directly from the Aave team. If you guys aren't familiar with Stanny, um, he is on the Aave team. Um, he's brought up that it's happening extremely soon. I, the reason that's so bullish in my opinion is that if you look at what happened when Aave launched on Optimism, the TVL on Optimism of stable coins went from 330 million up to about 1.2 billion. So about a 4X in stable coin market cap on chain. Um, so that's extremely massive, especially if you're a stable swap. So we could see something extremely similar happen um, when this launch actually would go live of Aave. So how do we know when it's gonna happen? I think this is speculation on everybody's part, but this is a tweet directly from the Metis team. Um, they were talking about the roadmap of how Aave could actually go live on chain. They had completed step two, which was a governance proposal on Aave that eventually passed. Right now they're on step three, and most of these steps on step three have been complete. With that, step four is only a governance proposal, so as soon as this goes live, capital starts flowing in. So with this being pretty good to go, um, that makes me extremely bullish. Another big upcoming catalyst, based off a tweet I did a while back, part of that was Alex Strife commented that PTP has a new locking mechanism and Thomas did reply with the eyes. So one could speculate that there's a good chance that they probably are gonna move to that model. So what does that exactly look like? Um, there's an article out there on the new locking mechanisms for Palatopus. Um, they went live with these a few months ago. Right now you stake your hum to start earning VE hum. It takes you about 10 months to earn max VE hum. If you unstake any of your hum, then you actually lose your entire stack of VE hum. So with this moving to this new VEPTP model, it would be actual locks where you lock for up to 12 months 
um, and it actually would lower circulating supply. People won't be unstaking and selling. So it just makes a lot of the stakers a lot more sticky. Um, it has a model where you can earn more VEP TP for max locking. So this is definitely something to keep an eye on. Do all of your own research. We're gonna put all of the links in the description below. Um, with that being said, uh, appreciate anybody who likes, comments, or subscribes. Um, any engagement is extremely helpful when we're working to build out this channel. Um, and uh, appreciate you guys tuning in for another episode of Fast Five.